Hello and welcome back to That's English. Hello. In the last programme, we talked about sports, deportes. James was practising for his school sports day. Sports day? Good. What sports are you going to do? Running? Jumping? When James said he wasn't good enough to win anything, Bernard had the perfect answer. Winning is not important. Playing the game is important. Ganar no es lo importante. Playing the game is important. Do you remember go and play with different sports? You go jogging, but you play tennis. You go swimming, but you play cricket. So, we're going to look at all that language again today. You're going to hear lots of different people talking about sports. Remember, don't worry if there are things you don't understand immediately. Concentrate on trying to get the gist lo esencial, of what people are saying. We'll help you with difficult words later. First, we asked people these two questions. What sports do you like playing? And, what sports don't you like playing? I don't like rugby. I really hate rugby. I love playing tennis and I like horse riding. I hate playing football, because normally you have to play it when it's cold. I like swimming, I like cycling, and I love playing tennis. I hate swimming, because I hate getting wet, and I really don't like squash. I don't really like cricket. It's very boring. Did you notice that several of them use the word really? Let's have a look at exactly what it means. I really hate rugby. Really refuerza la palabra hate. This means the same as I hate it very much. I really don't like squash. De nuevo, really se utiliza para enfatizar. O sea, significa que detesto intensamente el squash. What sport do you like best, Robert? I really like squash. It's very good exercise and it's really good fun. What about you? I really don't like squash. I think it's dangerous. I really like tennis. Do you? Me too. Let's play tennis after the programme. Good idea. We're now going to see an interview with one of Britain's tennis champions. As you'll find out, the two most important things in tennis are hitting the ball, darle a la pelota, and getting it over the net. Que pase por encima de la red. It's summertime again, and I'm here at Wimbledon, and that means tennis. This year, there will be another exciting championship. All the best players from around the world are here. The Americans, the Germans, the Italians, the Swedes, and the Spanish. It's going to be a very exciting championship. One player in the championship is Margaret Baxter. Everyone hopes that she will win, but this year Margaret hasn't been playing well. In fact, she hasn't won a game all year. Margaret, it's been a bad year for you. Yes, Simon. What's gone wrong with your game? I don't know, Simon. You don't hit the ball very often. You're right. Hitting the ball is a problem. And when you hit the ball, you can't get it over the net. Yes, getting the ball over the net is rather a big problem. 
The British supporters don't like it. Playing tennis would be easier with no net. Margaret, some newspapers are saying that you are the worst player in the championship. Yes. Other newspapers are saying that you have the wrong racket for the modern game. Are they? Yes. The new Fraser racket is more modern. It's simply a better racket. Yes. It's much better. Playing tennis is much easier with the Fraser racket. I'm going to be the new Wimbledon champion. It's true, you know. British tennis players never win at Wimbledon. Yes, perhaps they think that winning is not important. Or perhaps they haven't got the right rackets. Let's look at the language in that advertisement. Look at this sentence. Can you see what the missing word is? Is it bad, worse, or worst? Margaret, some newspapers are saying that you are the worst player in the championship. Worst. The worst player. Aquí tenemos otra comparación. ¿Cuál es la palabra que falta? Playing tennis would be easier with no net. Easier. Más fácil. Y tras este enorme esfuerzo mental, vamos a relajarnos con una canción. Sorry, Vanessa, but it's not a relaxing song. Get up, please. What? Come on, we're going to do some running on the spot. Correr sin avanzar. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Jump and walk and swim and run. Win or lose, it's all good fun. Winning's not important, it's taking part. So come on, get ready, it's time to start. Up. Get them up. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Get those feet up off the floor. Come on, faster, more, more, more. Running on the spot is good for you. If you don't know how, I'll show you what to do. Up. Get them up. Get them up. What did he say? Up. Running on the spot is Up. good for you? What nonsense! I'm sure it is good for you, especially if you're getting fatter. Si estás engordando. Like this next person we're going to meet. Yes, his doctor thinks he should do some exercise. So he tries a game and a sport. The first game is chess. Ajedrez. But what's the other sport he tries? Good evening. Hello, my name's Danny Dodds. How are you? Are you well? Oh, isn't he fat? Yeah. What? Do you think I'm too fat? You do, do you? You think I look rather fat? Mm, yes, well, I visited my doctor last month. He said, do some exercise. Playing games is good for you. So, I've started playing chess. <laughs> mm. I play quite well now, but I'm still too fat. My doctor said, go out in the fresh air. So I went fishing with my son. Fishing's great, very relaxing. 
I thought I was quite good at fishing. I caught a fish. It was big. It was very big. It was really big. It was quite big. It was fairly big. It was... Oh, never mind. That's, that's all from me. Good night. You've been great. Go on, get off, go on. Yes, fishing was the second sport he tried. Do you think it helped with his problem, Robert? <laughs> well, he gets a lot of exercise with his arms, doesn't he? He has to explain how big the fish are. Yes. Now look closely at the words that describe the fish's size. Listen out for very, really, quite and fairly big. It was big. It was very big. It was really big. It was quite big. It was fairly big. Otro aspecto importante del deporte, casi tan importante como participar, es ser espectador. We asked some people, what's your favorite British sporting event? De las competiciones deportivas británicas, ¿cuál es tu favorita? I really like the tennis tournament at Wimbledon. It's great. My favourite sporting event is the Horse of the Year show, and I also love Wimbledon. My favourite British sporting event is the FA Cup final, a big football match in May. I love going to see a good cricket match. I really like the big sporting events too. Tennis at Wimbledon, football at Wembley. We have to stop there. But I hope you'll join us for our next programme. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon. Up. Get them up. <laughs>